SoStock offers you three different ways to calculate your future forecast. There are three different baselines you can use. The first one is called your velocity calculation. And that's the default setting right now. Basically what it's doing is it's looking over the last six months and breaking it into these time periods. And then it's taking the average sales velocity per day, so units sold per day for, that, for each of those periods of time, seven periods of time, but let's say we came out of a slow sales area and we're selling more than we were six months ago or three months ago. You can turn those off. So SoStock gives you the ability to customize. You can look at real-time data only. And of course, these will update more frequently than some of the sales back here. So you can play around with it and see what your adjusted velocity is. So obviously, if you're looking at a shorter period of time, more current, these number numbers will recalculate more frequently. Okay, the second methodology is using manual velocity. Manual velocity is very unscientific. It's just how many units per day do you expect this product to sell? This is a good way to override the system and just force it to predict future sales. Let's say you're launching a new product that has no sales history on Amazon. You can use a manual velocity. Of course, these are all baseline velocities that you can add fe features on top of, and we'll show you how to do that. The third methodology is last year's sales, and frankly, this one is my favorite. I think it's really cool. This one will actually take 365 days of sales and basically just mirror them. So in other words, we're looking at the last 365 days of your sales for this product on Amazon based on your Seller Central information and so stock will predict that you will make those same sales again on the exact same day this year so this is last year this is this year's forecast now if you were stocked out on one of those days it will have an asterisk next to it and the number that it gives you is just kind of an estimated sales number based on the 30 days surrounding that missing day so we are counting stockouts into consideration here if you use the monthly feature, you can see all 12 months of predicted sales. And based on last year's sales, you can even see the seasonal sales patterns, right? So you can see that during the summertime, this product sells more, it sells less during the fall. And then of course, as we get into Q4, it does really well. And it does well, really well in uh, January. So, this is great because if you were using the last year's sales as your velocity metric, SoStock will predict the future sales and forecast you to place your larger orders, your inventory orders and transfers with this in mind, looking into the future. And you can add additional growth, uh, trends, lightning deals. You can see there's one here that we already added and future sales spikes on top of that. So those are your three baseline velocity options for your future forecast. Now let's look at some of the settings to fine tune your forecast. On any product, if you click this area here, the number of FBA days or just anywhere in this white area, it will open up the forecast options. Normally it will also have a sales trend here for the last couple of years, but I've hidden it. Here you have the order schedule and transfer schedule, which we won't talk about today, but in my opinion, this is the most important feature in terms of how you place your orders and when you place your orders. We'll save that for a different video. But right now what I want to show you is the trend feature. But if you turn it on, look what happens. It gives you the option to take a period of time and compare it to a previous period of time, an earlier period of time, so in this case, we're using at this year to date, and it'll give you the date range right here. Today's March 15th. And compare it to last year during the same date range. In this case, we've sold 66% more this year than we did last year. So if I apply this setting, you will see that my, uh, my adjusted velocity has gone up by 66%. And we can confirm that by clicking up here now on our last year's sales, it's adding the 66% to last year's numbers, and you can see that additional growth right here. Now that we've added our trend, let's look at a couple other features. The future lightning deals feature and future seasonal spikes. 
Now, when we say lightning deals, we're using that term loosely. We really just mean a short term sale. In this example, we're going to run a sale for Easter for a few days. And we plan on moving 500 additional units on top of our normal velocity. So we'll just save this to this product. And you can see it shows up right here. If you click on the number, it'll show you the additional units and the original velocity right there, totaling 169. So it's just taking those 500 units and dividing it by these four days, adding it on top of the already calculated velocity, which was last year's sales on this same day, plus an additional 66%, now plus those additional units. So it can get pretty sophisticated. You can schedule as many future lightning deals or short-term sales as you'd like. The last feature we'll talk about in this video is the future seasonal spikes. This is pretty awesome. You can actually go in and schedule an entire seasonal pattern on top of your sales velocity or forecast. In this case, we're scheduling an entire summertime, which is two months of sales, and we're just calling it summertime. And we're assuming that we're going to sell 100% more during the summer than we normally sell. You could even put a negative percentage in there. In the summertime, we sell 25% less than our standard average velocity, and you can see the math right there. In this case, I don't need to save that because we've already taken into account the summertime sales with our last year's sales. But if we did save it, this is what it would look like. In June, for whatever period of time you save this seasonal spike, it will turn blue and it will show you what that is and it will tell you the additional sales spikes here for the entire period of time. Once you've set up your velocity calculations and your order schedule and the rest of the features on this page, your timeline and your order schedule should make a lot of sense and so stocked will tell you to place your inventory orders and transfers, taking into account future sales growth, future seasonal spikes, future deals so that you never run out of inventory. Thanks for watching.